making an exciting game. Queen b6, hanging rooks on the board. Wow. Queen takes a8, bishop b7. You don't usually see that in Grandmaster games. No, no, but it is okay. Typical so, idea. Wow. But then Rook bishop second. f4, and he insists on giving up the rook in the corner. Yeah. I guess he just wants to play a move like knight d7 and go for that position. Whoa. And we Whoa. got two pawns on the second rank in Wesley So's game. <laughs> knight c1. I mean, some kind of fortress here? What's going on? Bishop yeah, no, he's threatening the a2 pawn. Yeah, knight takes a2 pawn. Wow. So I believe Wesley's probably calculating bishop c5. Bishop c5. Yeah, wasn't yeah, what? what so take. But even then, you can just take it, and you, you you have a great pocket. You're not losing it at most, at least. You know, you're never losing it. Yeah, definitely not losing. I mean, probably white's pieces can coordinate and just pick up the pawn. Rook comes yeah. to c1. Yeah. King can come to e2. Is Mama Dave gonna play rook e6, and is it gonna be bishop and knight checkmate? Oh, Wesley doesn't go for bishop and no, knight checkmate. I think I think he trusts yeah. him to pull it off. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, especially see. with five minutes, I'm I'm very sure that he, he knows right. his bishops, bishop and knight checkmates. Man, Wesley is fighting. He does not want to lose yeah. his first game. Oh, oh and he has resigned. Because the oh, king of bishop d6. Yeah, bishop d6, yeah. king e8, and knight f6. Wow, Man. what a game. Wow, Fantastic. what a game. Even when yes. Wesley resigns, it's a strong move because he saw this so quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean... Look at this game. We should we should take a replay about this 